So what is your ideal professional captioning and subtitling software? Well, mine is none other than Subtitle Next. And here's what I look for when choosing a subtitling software. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the key features and benefits of Subtitle Next. Subtitle Next is a professional captioning and subtitling software that is so advanced that you can use it as a novice to an advanced captioner or subtitler in uh, the broadcast field. So basically, what I look for in a captioning and subtitling software includes a few of the following. Number one, how many formats, that is the, the file formats, does the captioning software support, that is media, video, and audio. And for me, Subtitle Next ticks these boxes because it supports a couple of uh, video formats, common video formats, MP4, WMV, MKV, AVI, which are very common. Number two, it also supports the use of only audio files, which is very, very relevant, especially when you are working with clients that only want to give you the audio file and not the video file to avoid any copyright infringements or redistribution of the content. And we fall into another section where it supports a lot of caption formats, that is SRT, SCC, EBU, any the other broadcast formats, caption formats that are available. I also look at whether the application that I'm looking for and using can render out open captions or burn in caption files into video files. And I also look for support for caption placement. Now, caption placement comes into play especially when you're dealing with files that have a lot of lower third graphics. And uh, if you're working on news content and there's a lot of lower third graphics passing down there, you'll always be faced by hard time, especially when the client requires the files to be open captioned because you'll not be able to move the captions out of the lower third graphic area. And it is important to look for an application that supports this. Now, I settled on Subtitle Next. After a client gave me a file, a Hebrew file, and these are right to left languages, which is another key benefit and feature that I love with Subtitle Next. And it is also another quality I look for in a subtitling and captioning software. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through some of the key benefits and features of Subtitle Next. And you can check out the links in the description to go to navigate to Subtitle Next. So just Subtitle Next. Uh, it's by PBTEU. Uh, and it's it basically comes in three levels: the individual, I think, the enterprise, and uh, the platform, uh, and the platform itself. And basically, it has an intuitive and very rich uh, format that you can use uh, to do subtitling. You uh, you can uh, check out the demo and all that. And basically, why did I settle for subtitle next? Now, here's my subtitle next open. It's lovely, colorful, and all that. But basically, the reasons why I settled on this application is because it is available for, number one, multiple operating systems, where you have a Windows, Mac, and Linux version, depending on what you want, on what you're using. I'm using the Windows version, and it's, it's the latest. So basically, this is my files loaded. So reason number two why I love Subtitle Next is that it supports a range of caption formats so file just just choose export if I wanted to export this file you'll see that uh, there are a couple of formats that are available uh, that I can uh, output to uh, so basically what you need to do is uh, look at all these uh, formats that are available from VTT TTML uh, SRT you know everything that you need for Netflix uh, MOV with alpha, uh, you can also provide uh, open caption files where you, you export the movie files and this is very very important especially if you're working with files that require uh, open captions. So basically it supports a lot of formats and if we go to look at the video and look at open the video file and we go to browse you'll see that it supports a ton ton of video files that you can import. You can check AVI, MPEG, MOV, MP4, Windows MIDI files, MKV, and basically you can work with all that. And 
we also have another good good feature where you can import or open a video file from a URL uh, give or take a YouTube a URL or Facebook URL so basically those are very very relevant features and benefits that you find with subtitle next now if you've been tasked with let's give an example that we had uh, some lower third graphic that was being obscured by this what would you do and the client requires you to provide open captions so basically uh, with some of the other applications that you find it's it's really difficult to work with this so for this uh, for subtitle next all I need to do is this is my caption file You see this yellow sign here I'll just push it up I'll just push that line up and anything that is down here will stop being obscured please note that you can also move it horizontally move it to the other side for example if the the lower that graphic was covering this section and the lower section you can move it to the side or to the top whatever section that you want to place it so I'll just place it back there and we can see all this uh, uh, which is a very very good feature uh, because caption placement is something that is very very important especially to avoid uh, hindering or obscuring uh, lower third graphics and all that we can just get back this back there now the next key thing that I love with this is that uh, there's an option to open audio an audio file if a client does not provide a video file for you that should not be a limitation for you not to work or prepare caption files for that client basically all you need to do is just open the audio file you can open it from the web URL and basically everything in between so you covered you sorted and everything I'd like to talk about another key feature of subtitle next and this is the interface itself almost everything here is customizable so let's say I right click on this uh, let's say I right, I right click here uh, if if I want to show the on-air indicator I can have it on or off uh, you can change almost everything here screen layout play control on air indicator through everything that's here you can change it uh, but basically for this tutorial I'll just show you this is the basic interface the file the edit subtitle timing format video audio those are basically some awesome features and tools that you can see and that you can use for this now let me show you another thing they are also robust text features for example if you notice my caption block here does not have uh, something we call let's say a background if I wanted to add a background which is a style you can just come and hover here if you hover on this it says sized block now if I click outside you'll see now it has a black background we can have that for that but if you go to the next one it remains without so you can have this for each and every line depending on how you want it to look like so you can have it for each and every caption file that you have or you can just have it for individual caption blocks as you work on them the way you want them to be so you can stylize and have different fonts for each and every caption block that you're working on this is really really important when you're looking for professional captioning and subtitling software I know that that's a lot to take in but basically if you're looking for for an application that will sort all your captioning and subtitling needs just try subtitle next it also offers tools for collaboration where you can work with other people that have the same application as you and this is very very relevant especially if you're working on a lot of video files let's say series TV shows and all that so basically uh, that's a, a quick breakdown of how you can work with this and I also give you another key benefit is that it has a flexible pricing option so basically they offer limited time licenses where you can get the minimum time as the time of this recording is a two-month license that costs about 84 euros which I feel is pretty fair uh, to be honest because if you're working on a project that involves uh, let's say uh, right to left languages you'll have the option to charge enough money to get your money back for the two-month license uh, that, that you purchased and uh, it's, it's simple you can just check out the links in the description to navigate to the section on pricing and all that 
uh, but basically uh, an individual or the individual uh, piece of uh, subtitle next cost about uh, in the range of about I think a thousand dollars plus uh, you can always check it out uh, at their shop and uh, you'll see how much it costs uh, to purchase uh, this uh, awesome application but that should not be a hindrance for you to to use this uh, application let's see accept all let's check out is 350 900 to 950 so you can always check out all this application and see how much uh, they cost see the features uh, of each and every application that you get uh, and probably the best to settle on is about the Explorer I think the individual uh, and this will give you different uh, different uh, results depending on the application and uh, what you want from it but as always I recommend something that will offer at least open captioning that is banning in uh, of uh, the files the caption files onto the video uh, which is uh, very very awesome and will help you a lot having the power to like do the caption placement and all that now if I wanted to change the look of how my subtitle next looks like all I need to go is just go to option change theme so here you can change everything to what you want it to look like so you can go for that look let's say you selected to blur out a little bit and come back and uh, just close so I have a different interface depending on what you want it to look like you can customize or change the theme to your own liking I think I prefer the, the green UI and uh, this is good for me I think I can see everything that I need and I can customize everything uh, that I need here something that is very important is that you'll need to look at the preferences uh, when you get this application but basically in this video I was just walking you through the key benefits and features of this awesome application and to finally cap it off if you work with Arabic Hebrew Farsi kind of captions these are languages that are right to left languages now th what this means is that instead of uh, saying something like file the F is on this side and the E is on the to the end so for example uh, let's move this down a little you can just move it there for example for this file the question mark should be on this side and everything should be reading from have you ever wanted to automatically add timestamps or time codes for free so basically everything should be moving from right to left so this is also another powerful feature with subtitle next now I'd like to leave it there for this video just a quick run through of the key benefits and features of subtitle next and in the next video I will show you just how you can create a new project and how you can start adding in your caption files I believe I've walked through most of the features and benefits and all that but if you want to read more you can check out the links in the description for what more features are available with subtitle next if you're interested in learning how to caption videos kindly check out my course from the link below I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably talk about some of the few things in depth that you can do with subtitle next